Hi guys, Angel here. Girls, I'm actually here to talk to mostly you today, but I'm sure any men listening um, will enjoy this one as well. So, I'm actually going to talk to you about how a real man, not boys, not men who decided they don't give a crap about themselves or anything else, I'm talking about a really good man. You know, like the kind of man you actually dream of. I'm going to talk to you about what it is that they're looking for and what they really want. Okay? So, first off, trying to lure a man with your physical appearance, that might work for a split second. But once you have a real man, that crap won't save you from anything. So, if a man is drawn to your intellect, to your smile and your personality, your sense of humor, if he appreciates um, the things that you enjoy in life and your spirit and your energy, those are the things that are lasting, okay? So, and these things have to be real and genuine. It can't be the sort of thing where you're trying to act all charming and darling and cute while you're trying to get him. And then once you think you have him, you flip a switch and suddenly you're not the girl he thought he knew. I don't care how cute you are. I don't care if you are Miss Universe. I don't care how gorgeous you are, how perfect your body is. A man who is genuinely invested with his heart, your sex appeal will not turn him on if everything else about you is turning him off. Okay? So, if you are looking for a genuinely good man and you really want to keep him, here's the secret. Let him know you. Let him know who you really are, what you're really about. Let him see you on your best days and your worst days. And make sure all of this happens preceding a sexual relationship. Because, let's face it, the deeper the intimacy, the more intention it takes to have a successful relationship so a really solid relationship actually takes effort actually takes you trying on purpose on a daily basis and uh, that's why a lot of relationships fail because a lot of people are self-seeking and it's all about how this other person makes them feel and then once they're not making them feel that way, uh, they lose interest. Or they think it's okay to treat someone like crap, which is total crap. Um, you know, I actually had an encounter the other day with a husband and wife who came to look at a truck I'm selling and he said that if I found myself in a situation where I just really wanted to get rid of it to let him know and he would want to be the one to take it off my hands. So I said to him, okay, we'll exchange numbers and I'll make sure to keep you in my phone. And I looked at his wife and said, or you and I can exchange information if that makes you more comfortable. You know, out of respect for their relationship and... You know, not everyone is okay with their husband having some random woman's number in their phone. Anyways, me, I'm trying to be respectful of their marriage. The wife's response was, she looked at me and said, Oh, I don't care. You can take him if you want him. And literally... He said nothing. He stood there speechless, which I have a feeling he probably does often. Um, 
In my opinion, in that moment, she bullied him. She degraded him. She robbed him of his self-worth. And she showed zero value for their relationship. And I was honestly speechless. I did not know what to say. I was horrified that she would say something like that about her husband. And I thought to myself, I bet you she was really sweet when she was his girlfriend. And then I got to thinking, you know what? I actually think that a lot of these women probably flipped this switch before marriage. And for some reason, the man does it anyways. I don't get that. But what I do understand is the divorce rate is really high. And there's a lot of broken hearts out there. And if people would take the time to honestly invest in, the, in themselves, in the person they've decided they love, they'd be a lot less broken hearts. There'd be a lot more hard work in people because a genuine relationship takes effort. I don't care who it's with. I don't care if it's with your mama, your daddy, your sibling, whoever. It takes genuine effort to have a meaningful, solid relationship. So, if you're going to invest in it, do it wholeheartedly, or just don't do it at all, seriously. Like, if you're more worried about enticing men with your body, then just do that. Don't lead them on, you know, as if you want something meaningful if you know you're not capable. Okay? Save some bleeding hearts out there. Thanks for watching. I know there's golden, golden hearts out there who are applauding this message and going, yeah, 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 she gets it. Um, for the rest of you, if you were offended, don't be. But do some soul searching. Because this advice can actually help protect your own heart as well. Because you want to have a good life and a full life and a happy heart. We all do. Yeah. All right? So do it for you. That's all I'm asking. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.